Okay, let's talk about the Park Algebra 1 test or exam. So if you're watching this video, I assume uh, you are in high school and you're preparing to take the Park Algebra 1 test. Um, and this is given once a year, I believe. And uh, at the time of this video, I think about 15 states are using uh, the Park uh, system. So um, obviously it's a widely used test and it's very, very important. So it's something uh, to take serious and if you're watching this video I assume you are obviously taking it serious by um, you know preparing uh, for this Algebra 1 uh, test. So what we're going to do here is take a look at a quick practice problem uh, that you know you should be able to find uh, the solution to pretty easily if you're fully prepared for the Park Algebra 1 exam. If you don't get the uh, problem uh, right don't panic use it as feedback. If you do get it right uh, this is kind of an easy problem, and I'll explain it here in a second. You know, we don't actually see the problem here, but just hold on one moment, and I'll explain it to you. But if you do get this right, by no means is that uh, you know verify or you know confirm that you're all ready for this Algebra One test. There's a lot of material uh, in Algebra One, but before we uh, before we go any further, let me go ahead and introduce myself. Uh, my name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several, several years, I've constructed many, many math courses, very comprehensive online math courses. I actually offer a uh, Park Algebra 1 test prep course. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this video if that's something you want to check out. But let's get to this problem here. So very simple. So here we can see we have an XY um, axis and we have some uh, line here. And the equation of this line is this, okay, y equals 3x plus 5. So my question to you is the point 1, 4, this coordinate, uh, this particular point here, is this on this line, okay? In other words, is it on the line? Okay, now, obviously, I don't have the, uh, this is a sketch, so I'm not using graph paper, okay? But I want you to think about how can you answer this question? Now, hopefully this is pretty easy. And uh, what I want you to do is pause the video and think about it for a moment. Of course, I'm going to answer the question here in a second. But you should try to, you know, at least, even if you're, you know, lost, you know, you don't know what to do, try to at least think about it for um, a few seconds. Okay, so hopefully you thought about it. And, and uh, maybe some of you out there were like, okay, 3, y equals 3x plus 5. Let's just do a quick review here, okay? What is this point, or where is this point located with this uh, line? Okay, now, this line is written in y equals mx plus b form, all right? This is something called the slope, oops, slope intercept form, okay? Now, this point, or this number here, is our y-intercept. In other words, it's the point where this line is going to cross through the x-axis. So in this particular equation, hopefully you thought about that and said, okay, that's 5. If you knew that, then that's excellent. Okay, now 3 is the slope, and that's, uh, um, you know, I can go into a whole nother lesson. This is a pretty big topic, and again, I don't want to go off on too many tangents here, but at least if you knew that, okay, 5 with this line, this would be 5. Now we can just kind of just, you know, use common sense. It's 1, 4 on this line. So the point 1, 4, if this is 5, 4 would be down here. So just, you know, kind of visually, it wouldn't, you know, appear that this point is on this line. But that's not enough. If you kind of reason that way, that, that's, I mean, that's good, okay? But that's not enough um, kind of like support or to, you know, have absolute, certainty whether this point is on this line. So how do we uh, tell or how, how do we know if a particular point is on a line? Well, let's go and answer that question now. So this is an equation. We call this a linear equation because it describes uh, uh, that word linear means line, right? So it's an equation of a line. So if a point Okay, for example, this point here is on this line. Okay, excuse me. What we can do is just plug in our values. So here, what is 1? Well, this is, remember, 1, 4, this is what we call an order pair. It's a point, okay, represents a point or location 
on the x, y axis, but it's something called an ordered pair. It's a pair value and there's uh, a specific order. Okay, so the one here is our x coordinate and four is our y coordinate. So if we plug in four for y and uh, uh, one for x, we're just gonna replace the x and y here. That's going to do that now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this y with four and I'm gonna replace this x with uh, one. So that's gonna be three times one plus five, okay? Now, when we look at this, the way we know if a point is on the line is if the resulting math, okay, when we simplify this, turns out to be true, then that point, okay, i.e. four or uh, one four, is in fact on the line. But let's go ahead and just follow this out. This is gonna be four, is uh, is equal to three times one, of course, is three plus five. So we end up with four is equal to eight. Now, is that a true statement? No, four is not equal to eight. That's a false statement. So therefore, these values, when I plugged them in to this linear equation, created a false statement, okay? It's meaning, okay, the way we can interpret that graphically is this point, okay, is not on this line. If it, uh, in fact, uh, created a true statement, that point would be on the line, okay? So you gotta make these connections uh, with, uh, in algebra with linear equations. It's not just a matter of just knowing what the slope is, knowing how to graph the line. You gotta understand what all these things represent. And, um, Again, this is a pretty basic concept, but a lot of students, you know, kind of don't, you know, uh, remember this or haven't made that uh, connection yet. But a very small uh, topic in Algebra 1. And, uh, of course, I can go on and on and on and teach about slope and teach about graphing lines and finding the equations line, etc. And just linear equations themselves are a huge part of Algebra 1 on top of a lot of other things, quadratic equations, systems, etc. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, again, just a quick pop quiz. Um, uh, you know, if you got it right, that's excellent, okay? If you struggle with it, don't panic. You know, now's the time to start preparing. Anyways, if you like my teaching style, hopefully consider subscribing to my channel. I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years. I have hundreds of videos on my channel that can help you out and Algebra 1. If you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. How do you like Algebra 1? Uh, typically, most students in my experience in high school either like it or they don't like it, okay? So I mean, it's kind of interesting. I'd probably say that ratio is maybe like 60, 40, 75, 25, but uh, a lot of people don't like math. So if that's you, okay, you're not alone, but you also have to um, stay committed to learning. Algebra one is so important and all your future math courses in high school are gonna build on how well you did in Algebra one. So with that being said, if you want to check out my um, test, prep course, uh, test prep course on uh, Park Algebra one, super comprehensive. It's effectively a complete Algebra one course there. Um, it will definitely help you out. But again, I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video. But uh, let me go ahead and just leave you with this last reminder. Always, always listen to your teacher first, okay, when it comes to preparing for uh, these tests, okay? So do what your teacher is doing um, or suggesting you to do. Study uh, everything what your teacher is saying. And then if you have to go above and beyond that to get extra help, a course like mine would be an excellent way to do that. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the Park Algebra 1 exam. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.